Uh, what's that then? Right. Um, you're probably wondering why I've got a ZMR made out of wood in front of me. Well, I've had these drawn out on my on a piece of wood for weeks. Well, probably about two or three months they've been drawn, but I just never got around to cutting them out. But because I was snapping so many wood for it, uh, wood, fucking hell, um, so many of the cheap frames. I just wondered, like, how strong would this be? I've got wooden arms, so it can be like um, a full wood drone. Apart from the standoffs, obviously they can have to be metal. But um, yeah, and I could always fit calm five grams after and test that as well. But for now, we're gonna go with all wood, and then yeah, just test wood. I've gone with plywood. It's a marine ply, so it's like the smooth one, not all the chip one, like where it all chips apart. So, yeah, I cut these out about two, three weeks ago. I just haven't been, they've just been sat on the side, but I've seen something get posted, um, with Le Dribby posted about the wooden props. And um, I noticed there was a lot of people commenting to make a full wooden drone, but yeah, so if I didn't start making this now, then someone else is probably going to make it, and then, yeah, sort of wreck my idea. Well, not my idea, but something that I've already been working on for the last few weeks so we're going to get to it today and start assembling the frame at least and get this together, drill all these holes out I've already cut them, I used a uh, I don't even know what sort it is but it's like a band saw but you have not got a band so it's just a really thin blade like which moves up and down and is electric but um, yeah, you can probably do it with a jigsaw but this is going to be like a start of a series. I've got... Well, I'm building a ZMR. But I ordered um, some 3K carbon fibre. Quite thick. This thing is 2.5mm or 3mm. So like, that's the top plate for the rest of it. The rest of it's there. And that's all made out of the same carbon fibre apart from the arms. So this one should be quite good. Yeah, in the series I'm going to get a load of different materials. I've got some plastic material. I think, um, I'm not sure what this is. Acrylic, I think. Which is quite strong. It bends a bit, but that'll be the next frame I'll cut out. Um, I am getting my hands on some polycarbonate, which is bulletproof, so... That might be quite fun. See what that's like. And yeah, if you can think of any material or you want me to build a, a quad out of, list it in the comments below. And um, I'll see if I can get hold of it and build a frame out of it. And pretty handy. I can put, like, cut all these, cut out of anything. I can cut one out of sheet metal if you wanted. Like this. Um, yeah, I fabricated with steel, so. I can pretty much fabricate with anything. So yeah, if you think of a material that you think would be quite good, well, let me know in the comments below. So yeah, this will be a new series and then we'll test a load of materials and see if carbon fibre is like the best material. I'm guessing it probably is, but if a plyboard one does pretty good, then that is probably cheap. <laughs> You could build like hundreds of them for like really cheap. But yeah, I'm not expecting too much. It's probably going to be an only month after this. But that's when I, well, I'll probably end up breaking it. But the arms, I don't think, are going to last two minutes. Like they're going to snap. But we can always test that. And then when they do snap, I'll put some carbon fiber ones on. And then we're trying to snap the frame. I'm going to use a drill bit which is slightly smaller than the holes what's in the carbon fibre because it's wood I'll be able to screw the bolts through and then make a bit of a thread in there so yeah I'm going to use slightly smaller with a drill bit The arms I've cut out 
in quite as long as an ZMR arm, but it'll work. Yeah, I'm gonna mark this arm just so I know where to line up the next ones. anyway Pin it. these two front holes now on the bottom are all drawn and now they're going to be the back holes got one drawn out well oh, actually I'm at two holes there. So what I'll do now is just line them two holes up. Make sure the arm is straight. And that will give me the other two. Build the arms out off camera just because it's quite late and I didn't want to drill them on this table this is really loud yeah that's going to be a problem we're going to need to try and find some bigger bolts oh, I screwed some bolts in ready for the standoffs put a little bit of Loctite in it I'm going to put the middle ones in a minute just because they get in the way when I'm trying to fit the rest of the stuff. I'm going to fit these into the, the middle <laughs> ones. Yeah. This is my first motors that I bought and run on my first quad and they're still going somehow. The one's a bit weird. And, uh, I have to turn my revs up slightly, it won't spin at the normal revs, so I've just got to raise my throttle. But it works like a motor, so. Yeah, so I think I might stick this set up in there. Oh, they're all touching. Hitting the lines. We're good to go. I managed to find some long screws. I think these might be. Um, screws which hold the front of like plug sockets on. Let's see if I can find some more. I've gone ahead and screwed the legs with the arms in place. As many screws as I can find. I've done that off camera just to save time on the video. Now I'm going to screw that Onto there, and then that'll be our base pretty much made. So, yeah, it's gonna be quite big, but <laughs> it's looking quite cool. 